all about it. Hear all about it. Hear all about it. Hear all about it. It's Goosh, Bansri and Neam here and we want to tell you about one of our favourite shows in the festival. It's called Little Murmur. It's based on a true story of a child who struggled with letters and words. That can be a really hard thing to deal with but this show helps you see into his world where things look different and sometimes really funny. The director is Akash Odedra. He struggled with dyslexia when he was a child. He found he could express himself through dance. This show is stunning. There's dancers flying like birds and special effects with lights, illustrations and sound. It's time to be mesmerised. We went to see the show and interviewed the dancers afterwards. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. So we're here with Sabash, a dancer in the show. I think it was very fantastic. I like the music and the, all the effects. Like when you touch those curtains, that magic came out. Fly, 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 fly. Well, he took with his hands, so that yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Face you, yeah, and then join them up. The thumbs. Yeah, that's it, and then flat. <laughs> we just watched a show, and it was really um cool. And all the light stuff effects. Uh, they um they they did. I thought it was like magic or something, but. Uh, yeah, you can see the TV behind it, but before I saw the TV behind the thing, um, I found it. it I, I thought it was real, but it was still real. Uh, it, it was still really uh, cool. It was funny when all those papers were coming down, <laughs> and then you tried everything to pick it all up, but it just kept going and going. Yeah, that was funny. Um, were you feeling nervous doing it because all these new people and a new space. Um, with me, when it comes to performing, I get nervous every time. Whether I'm performing in front of five people or five thousand, it's. Um, but it's good to be nervous because it means that you care. So you really want to put, make sure it goes really well. So that's why I get nervous. But it's a good thing. I use it to my advantage. I don't get how you like get all those papers in the thingy and then you just like <laughs> kept them in the box and then you couldn't find your A. What did what did the the paper scene mean <laughs> when you were just picking up paper? So basically, this this story is based on a real life story, true story. Um, Akash Odedra, who's highly dyslexic, uh, didn't find his missing A until he was twenty one. So he spelt his name A K A S H, and then at the age of twenty one, he looked through his passport and he actually noticed there was another A in his name. So his name is actually A A K A S H. So for 21 years, he never knew he had another A in his name. And when he did find that, he found a sense of control. And that's where this kind of piece derived from. What was your main message? So it's almost like finding yourself within the piece, um, finding out who you are. And it's a journey, a uh, self-discovery journey. So it was like the paper is falling. So like when the teacher gives you work, and you the you feel like there's just piles of work coming through. Yeah, paper kind of represents many things. It's uh, it's what you exactly what you said, but also freedom, flight, bird. Uh, when it's being flown in the air through the fans, it, it's a sense of freedom as well. Um, so it has many um, meanings. I think it was quite nice. If my uncle was here, he would be crying. <laughs> that's, that's how uh, nice it was. Uh, it was quite emotional because 
it was all about this boy that had dyslexia and and for 21 years he couldn't find that A, which is quite hard. Even I like when that blue body guy, <laughs> you were fighting him and then even if he didn't even touch you, you kept falling on the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, like, it's like fighting your shadow. Why did uh, Akash uh, forget her, his name when in like school, uh, his teacher or they give the, him books with his name on it? So how would he uh, know how many A's are in his um, name? Um, the thing with Akash is because he's highly dyslexic that even if they did tell him there was another A, he completely bypassed it. So for him, mixing E's and A's are the same. Uh, you know, fight and flight is the same. Angel and angle for him is the same. But we know it's L and E and E and L. But when you're dyslexic, everything gets jumbled around and you physically can't read the word for what it is. So you make up the word. You make up what that gaps are. And for him, he's been doing that all his life. How did you like, how did you like know how it felt or like how did you do the exact same thing that Akash did when, he, like, how did you redo it? So um, I've been working with Akash for many years and what we did is we took his story and we adapted it to my life and my story and my journey. instead of Akash, I spell out Subash. Um, and then everything that I go through in, this, in the story is everything that is from my personal experience. So it's like if, if I was to put the show on you, it would come from your perspective and what you've been through and how do you feel? What does this make you feel? What does this make you want to do? And then we create work from that. So the work has been adapted from Akash to my life story. I'm dyslexic slightly, lightly, very lightly, but not as much as Akash is. Yeah, I'm yeah. very lightly as well. I get my so, B's and D's mixed up. I did the spelling test here. Mm -hmm. it, it was library. I accidentally spelled library. <laughs> and I got it wrong. Yeah. Library. Yeah. Library. Library. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's good. To, it's, it's a serious story and there's a serious message, like you said, and it is meant to take you on an emotional journey. But I also feel like we, we need to take the arc in a way that it also adds humor, because um, if we take everything too seriously, it will just bring everyone down. So the idea is, how do we make a serious message funny and entertaining to watch? <laughs> when you stuffed it in your t-shirt yeah. and you jumped to put in your mouth yeah <laughs> and that's what this is it's like it's fun to watch you can enjoy it but there is a deep message beneath it yeah that's how i would think as well because i don't want it to be too serious because it's for kids as well yeah, yeah. and sometimes too serious makes it boring mm -hmm. so if you add a little bit of humor yeah. it just makes it much better of course I loved your, all your like dance moves and I liked all the music. Yeah, how do you know how to do these dance moves and how, you know, it like, and how many years have it, uh, has it take to um, pra practice? We uh, created this show in um, three weeks. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, put together. Like a month? It, yeah, in just under a month we put it together. Um, um, and then how I remember is just practice. It's like, how do you know how to spell certain words? You just keep doing it, doing it, and then you know how to spell it. So dance is the same. Dance is easy as long as you remember what comes next. You just follow the story. Uh, when you did it, did you forget any of the moves? Anything? No. The trick is, even if I forget, I don't show it. So you will never know. Yeah. So if I went wrong, I have to make it up, right? I have to do something else. So yeah, because they don't know what you yeah. were saying. And that's additions. the trick with anything. If you have to do something and you make it up and you do something else, they're not going to know it's wrong. Yeah, I know. I had to do this one play and then I forgot one of my lines. Mm -hmm. I just made it up. Nobody yeah. noticed. No one knows. It's all about confidence. I've learned like... If you have dyslexia, you can still um, like learn stuff properly, like not like people who don't have dyslexia. I've learned that you don't have to always be like nervous, even if you're performing on like five or five thousand people. <laughs> Other thing, I'm saying the opposite of what Kush said. Uh, don't be nervous. 
uh, be uh, don't be over confident but just be in the middle best. so like you should just be your normal self and don't be uh, too far apart or too far low just be yourself i learned that even if you have dyslexia you always have something good in yourself nobody has everybody has like a yeah a talent so nobody's lower than anybody else thank, thank you thank you for coming to watch